appreciate it. Well, we're just a couple of days away from the start of the traditional school fall calendar. And now members of fraternities associated with historically black colleges and universities are stepping up as community leaders. Our Anthony Wilson shows us how they're helping families get ready for the first day of school. We love to see moments like these on the first day of school. Smiling fraternity brothers welcoming the students. All of the Greeks, the Divine Nine, it's really critical that we continue to uh, provide an image, a positive image, to continue to encourage young people as they enter their first day of school, seeing positive people who can really make a difference in their lives. That's one reason they come wearing logo gear. Believe it or not, those colors make a difference for them, those uniforms, so to speak, because they really want to know what is that about and how do I get involved? And it just, it gives them a very positive image. Good day, good day. That's especially important these days. We think about our economy, think about gas prices and food prices and the strain that a lot of parents have and the pressures to make sure that their students have what they need. Brogdon Middle School Principal Anthony White and his Kappa Alpha Psi brothers know that pressure can affect students as well. So we talked about ways that we can kind of help alleviate um, some of that stress that parents may have and what better way than to have supplies ready for our students as they um, get off the bus or through carpool in the morning on the first day of school. That decision amplifying the message delivered by men like these. This first day of school proves that because you go in with the mentality and the attitude that I am going to be successful like these individuals that are standing around me. And you can help make students enter their classrooms ready for success. If anyone wants to contribute to our supply drive, they can donate supplies at the Capitals of Durham Foundation Center located on Fairville Street, or they can drop off supplies here at Brogdon Middle School. Reporting from Durham, Anthony Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.